In this video, we're going to create an effect called star trails in the classroom. And to do that, if you were doing it for real, you would have to locate the North Star. And the North Star is a particularly special star because it appears to not move very much in the sky. We can find it here in the observatory by using our planetarium cone, which points off towards the North Star. And we would take a long exposure photograph of the night sky, and we'd see the other stars circle the pole star in the sky. So now we're going to go off and recreate this effect in the classroom. So first of all, we need a few things. We need a spinning table to represent Earth spinning. Uh, so we have that here. And next of all, we need a box to represent the nighttime sky. So we'll punch a few holes in the top of this box to represent the stars, including the North Star. And we have a lamp that can shine down above and provide the light we need. Also, we're going to need to have two slots uh, on either side of the box to make sure it fits over the table. So let's first of all punch a few holes inside the box. Uh, we first of all need a central star that will represent the North Star. So right in the center of the box, make that the biggest hole. And then you can punch about nine or 10 other stars in there to make a very good star trails picture. Uh, next up, we need to mark the center of the spinning table because that's where we're going to place our phone camera. So if we take a uh, camera smartphone, place it in the center, making sure that the lens is right at that center point. And then we can start recording and we can place over the box on top of the table, making sure it's got enough room to move freely. And we can bring in our lamp for our light and just spin the table anti-clockwise for about a quarter of a turn. And when we've done that, we can take away our box and let's see what we've got. So we should have a video of some stars moving around our North Star. And we do. We can see those circumpolar stars. But we're going to take it a step further. So we could take this video and start processing it to use for our star trails image. So we've taken the video and split it up into frames and stacked it with some free software, stacked the images together, and we've got a great result. We've got our arc of the stars as they move around the North Star or the Pole Star. And this is very close to what you get if you actually took a long exposure picture of the nighttime sky. We've created our very own Star Trails picture in the classroom. 